There's that guy yeah, here. Just focusing on staying alive here. Okay, there's a kill trigger here. Kill all those guys there, this other thing. We've got casualty. Here it comes. This is where I always die. And I always die trying to throw a bomb at this guy. Because I can't see a damn thing and it's hard to throw a bomb. <laughs> Check this guy out. <laughs> How you doing there, buddy? <laughs> Okay, I want to get a bomb out there, but uh, I always flub it. Okay, let's try the night goggles here. Even with night goggles, can't see shit. Can he see me? Okay, this is a good place. Let's see if I can get a bomb up there now. now don't flub it. Go all the way out. And don't blow me up. Is there a guy there? Did I kill him? Finally. As far as I can tell... <clears throat> It's a kill trigger out there. As soon as you kill all the guys there, this guy comes rolling up. Oh, no, there's not a kill trigger. There's still a guy left here. Okay. As soon as you kill a number of guys over there, because that guy won't come rolling up until a certain time. Yeah, and I like a complete numb that spent a lot of my military rounds. Damn it. I think I spent about maybe 30. I was sitting there going, gee, my machine, my AK-47 sounds a lot different. Wonder why that is. <laughs> and I guess Mr. Fumblefinger is, uh, thought he was pumping up the Helsing and instead I swapped out into military rounds for my AK-47, so damn it. I don't care though, because I am I survived this part finally. And, uh, I think I'm gonna continue. Because the checkpoint I have, this is the best checkpoint I have. sniper. Is it worth going back this way? Is that a bad guy? No. Uh, I love to loot down there.
Yeah, what is that sound? That squishy sound? That throws me off every time. I think I'm being shot or something. I know I asked this before. I got a checkpoint. Good. How's my bomb situation? Five, okay. the way to be that that seems to be the way to go though. Just camp here and wait for him to come in. Yeah, and at this point, uh, my live commentary fell apart because uh, I started dying here at this, right after that last checkpoint there. Uh, I died here about, I don't know, half a dozen times easy in the space of 15 minutes. It was a total debacle, so um, I stopped doing live commentary altogether because I just wanted to focus on finishing the level. What I was determined to do was I was determined to gun my way through the rest of the level because I know the end of the level is right up ahead. And I was determ determined to gun my way through because that's how I made it one time. Although now I realize I just, I just made it by blind luck. Best to go stealth all the way. In fact, I doubt I'll ever do any running and gunning on any human parts of this game throughout the rest of the game because it's just it's way too difficult. It's too frustrating. I have a big problem with the uh, visibility and how you know dark it is. You can't see a damn thing, and the enemies are upon you and shooting you down before you can even spot where they are. So basically, I want to know what's going down, and I want to know what's going on with enemy positions before I start, you know, killing them. So stealth all the way, truly. So I finally make it here. two of these PV sympathizers that they might be going, okay, well, let's see. Let's see what you did there. Let's see you die uh, half a dozen times. No, no, no. It's, uh, wouldn't be enjoyable to anybody. I just get a whole litany of face palm comments and could have done it this way, slack, and da, 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 da. So, what's the point, you know? Let's just make a, a smooth finish here. <laughs> And it's like I said, it's my own, it's my own damn fault for being so adamant about trying to gun my way through the rest of the level instead of, you know, going stealth. I got the Helsing for this purpose. See here, that that's a perfect example of the visibility issues. I put on the uh, the night vision goggles, and then because I'm coming up to a bright spot, you know, I'm trying to scope. I can't see a damn thing, so you can't keep having to take the night vision goggles on and off, so either are going on again. This this thing here really throws me off. Really messes up my rhythm. So I'm finding it very difficult to develop a rhythm uh, with these human parts. Once again, you see? So there's light up ahead, so... There, you can't see a damn thing, so off go the night vision goggles. Now I can see this guy. I'm wondering if there's anybody else there. I'm pretty sure he's... Or not pretty sure, but I'm hoping he's alone. And I'm cracking up my Hellsync to make sure that this is going to be a one-shot kill. Because that's another thing, you know, a lot of things to remember. You don't crank up your, uh, or pump up your Hellsync and you shoot the guy and it just kind of annoys him. 
<laughs> and then it, that's it, your stealth is blown. It's very unforgiving, this game. The, th the fact that there's no quick save, immensely unforgiving in that in that respect, because you've really got, you've got to get your stealth on to get through these parts, in my humble opinion. I think part also, but like this is probably a personal thing, part of what's really frustrating me about this this game and these human parts um, where you have to stealth through is um, I did this blind playthrough uh, for the purpose of saving time. I just wanted to go into a kind of like a scary monsters game and shoot them up and you know just kind of like you know pump out some quick videos to provide some content for my channel uh, to complement my Deus Ex Human Revolution real walkthrough and it it's just become very labor intensive to finish these levels, you know, just to play the game, as opposed, you know, to just, you know, yeah, it's become very labor intensive. So that, I think that's part of my frustration here. I keep trying to push it into the run and gun mode just to try to save time, and the game keeps, you know, slapping me down, saying, ah, 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 no running and gunning for you. Get your stealth on. Figure shit out. You know, so, and I'm kind of like, uh, you know, resisting that. And I'm paying for my resistance, so yeah. Good game, very classic game. Wish they had a quick save option. Very good looking game. Um, I don't mind the difficulty, really. I mean, I play Far Cry on realistic difficulty setting. I play Far Cry 2 on Infamous. You guys all know that, and you see me do the uh, the hardcore ramble run on Far Cry 3, and I played Crisis on Delta. So you know, you know, I'm up for the challenge. When I came to my senses, I lost all hope. Nazi prisoners were used for slave labor or target practice. Yeah, yeah like I said, this was intended to be a blind playthrough and um, it's backfiring on me. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy, yeah, well, then's the breaks. Okay, so that's it, that's the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching and if you thought this was remotely entertaining, hey, don't forget to give the old slacker a thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, this shit ain't easy. <laughs> it ain't easy, man. All right, that's it, Slack is out. <laughs>